After all these years still fighting the Taliban, mano y mano. When will they learn that you can't bring a knife to a gunfight? Our DRX Patriot cruise missiles could take out one of their villages where the rats hide in 10 seconds. But our pussy ass politicians are too scared to pull the trigger. So I have to go in and kick ass one man at a time. Mano y mano. When will they learn? First, I have to get intel from my source, a traitor to his own people, but an asset to the United States of America. I'm running to meet him now. Believe it or not, Afghanistan can be very beautiful this time of year. Baghdad. Baghdad, Dakar. Abdul. Can't sneak up on a CIA agent like that. No. No. Hold on a minute. What is it? Decker, where in the hell are you? I'm in the shit doing your dirty business. Is the news from the source? Mr. President, I've got something here that would make you shit your pants. Intelligence? The mother load. We get back here to Washington, D.C. at once. I'll be awaiting your arrival. I'm on my way. Abdullah, thank you very much for your help securing me this very important secret document. I'm going to take this back to Washington and make sure we get this code open without exploding the package. I know you've risked your life and your family's life to make this exchange happen. And therefore, I'm grateful and the country salutes you. But let me just tell you, this is going to make our country safer, and in turn, we're going to help you provide freedom, safety, and security for your own country. Because that's what America's promised you. That's what America's going to deliver, no matter who the president is. My pleasure, Doctor. All right, lower the rope. Bring her down. All right, I'm ready. Thank you, Abdul. say. Decker, that was fast. I had a little help from the United States Air Force, some of the bravest men and women in America. Unfortunately, I wish you understood how to support the troops. Uh, what's in the briefcase? That's a plan to destroy America. Well, let's open it up, read the details so we can uh, stop this madness. I can't. It's a three-digit code preventing me from opening it. If I open it, it's going to blow. Are you the strongest man that I know? I mean, let's just rip it open. Don't you think I would have done that by now? Now, this is rigged to blow. Get it? If I try to pry that open, it's going to blow up the White House. Now, I don't mind falling on the sword of my country, and I sure as hell wouldn't mind seeing you go. But there is no way that I'm going to blow up 200 years of American history by blowing up the White House, not to mention the Founding Fathers. Uh, how do we break the code? I'll need access to your top secret FBI agent or CIA agent who had it for code breaking. That's <laughs> top secret. God damn it, you asshole. Do you want to save this country or not? I I'm sorry, Decker, but my hands are tied. All right, we're going to be doing this the hard way then. Do you want your brain splattered on the desk or are you going to call that CIA guy? Access, Mr. President, now.
Damn it, Mr. President, you want to save America or not? I I'm sorry, Decker, but my hands are tied. All right, and we're going to have to do this the hard way. The choice is yours, Mr. President. Do you want your skull and brains and blood splattered all over your desk, or are you going to pick up that video phone and call CIA and get me your best code breaker? Fine. That's what I thought. <laughs> Welcome, President Davidson. Uh, give me Special Agent Kington on the screen. Right away, sir. Uh, Decker, this is Special Agent Kington, Special Agent CIA. Hey, guys. Special Agent Kingston, you come very highly recommended. I'm sort of a specialist. We have some documents here that we need you to review immediately. Sure, let's do it. And what are they? Well, we can't review anything until we break into this case. We need to help breaking into a three-digit code. Are you up for the job? Yeah, interesting. All right, let me think about it. There is nothing to think about, Kington. We need you to crack this three-digit code as, as soon as possible. Otherwise, the whole country is going to be in problems. Can you do the job or not? Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, that's my area of expertise. All right, Kington, this is the case. Can you see it? Of course, that's a collector's item. Where'd you find it? I got it from a terrorist. Now, can you get in or not? Uh, I think I can do it, because I'm the master of codes. See, that's why I called in Special Agent Kingston, because he, he is the master. Yeah, right. Well, Kingston, can you tell us the code? It's a lot of work, but uh, I'm the right man for the job. God damn it, Kingston, can you get in the case or not? What are the numbers? I knew this question was coming. Um, it's tough, there's just so many of them. You incompetent fool. I need you to give me the numbers to get in this case. What are they? This is an internal coding system. So the way to th do these codes Damn is Damn it, we don't have time. Tell me what to do. You gotta help us get open this code. That's something I'm working on right now. Oh, shoot. Should I turn it to the right? Sure, it's worth a shot. You motherfucker, give me the code. I need you to get these codes open. Are you man enough? Still plugging away at it, we're getting there. Uh, it should be pretty soon. I mean, it takes a lot of work to get these things right, you know, but uh, it's worth the effort. Give me the code, Kingston! Okay, sure. What are the numbers? Five. I've accessed five. Five. This is a brilliant system. And what's the last one? Five. Here we go. I'm trying it, Kingston. Your job's on the line. Okay. Yeah, it ac we accessed it. I'm really proud of this. Uh, great work, Kingston. You really are the master. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, these plans are worse than I thought. Damn it, Decker. What, what the hell are we going to do? Yeah. What does it say? One of these plans plans to has a plan for them to blow up the World Trade, the uh, Super Bowl next Super week. Super America's greatest institution. No shit, Sherlock. I got 90 grand on the Cowboys. I'm rooting for the Washington Redskins myself. Of course you would. The only reason you like football is for all the gridlock. You're just obsessed with bureaucracy at the highest level. I don't like to just uh, parrot your opinions, <laughs> but in this case, you're right. But the plan that really worries me is this one. W what else does it say? They want to blow up Central Park with a nuclear bomb. Today. Today? I better head to Manhattan to stop the attack. But, wait, 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 Decker. Maybe it's too late. Maybe, maybe we should just surrender. Uh, Kingston, what do you think? I'm going to disagree with now, you. For once, I agree with that nerd. Mr. President, let me be clear. We do not negotiate with terrorists, and we do not surrender. Do you understand me? Got it. No, I can stop this plot. I can end this madness right now if you give me the tools to go out there and fight these terrorists the way I know how. You got it. Call my copter. Yeah, yes, sir. Hi, yes, uh, we'd like uh, uh, Mr. Decker's uh, copter on, on the White House lawn immediately. That's the first smartest thing you've done all day. 
Yes, yes, on the White House lawn. It's got to be around here somewhere. This style has only been a rumor. Aruhata, an America. Agada, agada, agada. Do kiss the government. Abdullah, thank you very much for your help securing me this very important secret document. And therefore, I'm grateful, and the country salutes you. But let me just tell you, this is going to make our country safer, and in turn, we're going to help you provide freedom, safety, and security for your own country. Because that's what America's promised you. That's what America's going to deliver, no matter who the president is. My pleasure. Abdul! No! Decker! Hey! Adal! What are you doing? Nahida! Ba! Adido Ramadala! How can it be you? I thought you were on our side. Sala Hadio, the America Ikia Hopara, Hayata, Abala Hame, America Ahayata, Bahade Hod, Ekmana, and Rahada America Bahasta. Well, there's one thing you didn't count on. What? Is that I never let America down. of America. I want to thank you for saving us from the terrorists. You're welcome. How did you do it? Once we broke the code and figured out how to access the secret documents, it was easy. You see, I can read and speak Arabic, and I dis de determined 
that the plot was in it was to blow up Central Park. Incredible. Once I got that information, I headed to the park and stopped the terror attack with brute force. And I couldn't be happier with the results. It's what saved America. Incredible. Decker, you're, you're a hero. What's incredible is how you failed to use the constitutional authority guaranteed to you by our founding fathers to use force to protect the homeland from these savages. Don't you realize that as commander in chief, you have the power to bomb these people back to the stone age? When will you ever learn that your administration is a disgrace? You, all your pathetic attempts just to try to get through this term so that when you come out, you can go on your stupid book tour and give your pathetic lecture circuit. You sold this country a bill of goods and now the chickens are coming home to roost. I agree. Uh, right, I, I should just resign and make you president. I would recommend this. But I'd refuse. I'm needed out there in the shit protecting you and us from people that want to do us harm. And thank God for that. You deserve the Medal of Honor. I know, and I do accept the Medal of Honor. Now, if there's anything else, Mr. President, I wouldn't mind barring Air Force One and heading off to Hawaii for a vacation. You got it. Mr. President, you'll never get my vote, but you have my respect. Well, coming from you, that, that means a lot. All the best. Decker truly is our most valuable national treasure. And I am a big fan as well. We're lucky to have him. Be safe in Hawaii, Decker! I really love Decker. My fellow Americans, I come to you with disturbing and yet great news. An agent of the United States of America has saved us from peril. Single-handedly, he has crushed a plot to destroy America. He has saved Central Park and he has saved the Super Bowl. And I designate the following Sunday a parade in his honor down Broadway in New York City. Unfortunately, this brave, brave agent will not be able to attend because, of course, his identity must remain secret. And you know who you are country owes you a gratitude and thanks. God bless you, Agent, and God bless America.